Got another one, folks. But this is Jimmy G in the place to be with another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we give our first opinion review and give our unabashed, unbiased, or maybe biased, if you if you send it to me. I'm talking to you, Hasbro, McFarlane, all you toy companies. I'll give you a biased opinion. No, I'm just kidding. I'll still be unbiased uh, about all things pop culture so if this is your first time here go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and if you've been here before thank you for showing up again and if you've been here if you've not been here before i apologize you may not like what you're about to see i'm just kidding uh but we are going to review another yet voltron so let's go take a look at this one because we, we we already reviewed the vehicle voltron we reviewed the tsunami 30th anniversary voltron both of which i got used at makari not makari at mckay's and then uh today we're going to look at one that i got on makari that i think might be my favorite one to date so let's come back and let's take a look at it and compare them to the others and here we go another voltron so this will be my third Voltron to unbox, but I have a feeling this one's gonna be a really good one. So this is the 3-0 Robo Duo Voltron Defender of the Universe. And so next to it, you can see the Toonami 30th anniversary one that I did that you can watch the video for uh, up above. But we're gonna look at this one today. We're gonna compare Lion Mode, Lion Mode, and then uh, we'll compare them to the other Voltrons too, the vehicle Voltron that I just did a review on which is a sloppy mess. But uh, so far, I mean, I'm digging the packaging of this. It's really, really cool artwork. Let me move uh, this guy out of the way so we can kind of just front and center everything else. You just stay right there and you don't move. Uh, but yeah, there's the packaging. And then what I like about it is it's Velcro. So if you want to see, look at that. Let me get this out of the way, but look at that. That is so cool. And so um, you can find this at Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, other places like that. I found him on Macari for a really, really good deal. I couldn't pass him up. Um, but I mean, you get the kind of the look. So if you want to keep it in the box, you can keep it in the box. I love the way that you can kind of display this and take a look at it uh, that way. I wish that if it was, you were going to be an in-the-box collector that that head would have been up so you can have seen it a little bit better. Uh, Colors are a bit mute, more muted, so we'll take a look at that here in just a little bit. Uh, but there's the side. You can see the robots. This side, we got the black line, the red line, the green line, the blue line, and the yellow line from 3-0. If you don't know who 3-0 is, they make some really, really quality good products on that. So, um, But let's get this out of the box and uh, onto the table and get them all in lion mode. So let's do that right now out of the box and on my table and oh my gosh do you get a lot more stuff this is a lot holy cow my goodness and just taking them out i mean everything is packaged with care uh looks looks really great so um i i haven't change these into lion mode yet because i just wanted to show you what it looks like out of the box this is all the stuff that you get I mean, what a bargain uh, that you get with this uh, this set. Now, the thing you don't get with this set that you got with the other set um, is the base. But, of course, I didn't get the base because mine was used and the base was missing. But what you don't get with the base, you get in a bunch of other stuff that I think I would rather have than the base. Uh, so let's start first. We got the instruction booklet here that kind of gives you all the contents tells you how to transform and uh change well let's not use transform trademark how to change him into robot and lion mode uh so uh and all the different things you can do oh my gosh this is so freaking cool yeah wow all right and then uh, of course you get the blazing sword right there and what i like about this one versus the other one look at the detail comparison i mean the blue uh you got the the hilt right there i think i mean when you look at the two 
I don't know which one's more cartoon accurate or what, but I like uh, this one right here. It's been a while since I watched the Voltron cartoons, but uh, yeah, this one looks awesome. Um, and then for another just direct comparison is the spinning shield, uh, the laser blade that you get. And so this one's bigger, but this one, again, has more detail. The paint on here looks much better. It's a duller, it's not chrome, but it's like just a painted silver. Uh, but yeah, I don't have a problem with that. That looks really good. Uh, so we'll set that to the side too as well. And then uh, I don't have the lion weapons out from the other one, but if you watch my other video, you can kind of see. But these lion weapons, what I like is A, they're color coded, so I don't have to guess which lion they go to. But uh, just look at that. That's Those look nice. Uh, red lion, yellow lion. Uh, we got green lion's weapon right there, which is cool. We got the black lion's weapon, their mouth blade, and then the blue lion's mouth blade on that so this one is armed to the teeth literally uh and then you get some other cool stuff so um we got the rotary cannons that fit on one of the lions we have a um whatever this thing of death is the shooting star i believe is what it's called um you get the rolling cutter which goes on voltron's foot which it rolls and it cuts uh, you also get, um, you get this, uh, lava cannon, you get this shoulder cannon right here. Uh, so again, nice molded plastic with these, um, you get whatever this thing is. This is another, I think, shoulder cannon of some sort. No, plasma flash cannon. Okay, cool. Uh, and then this one here is the triple barrel mortar cannon. So all these lions are armed to the teeth, the radial shotgun blaster, the, um, then this right here, the dual shoulder blockbuster turrets. So if you return your movies late, not only do you get a penalty or a late fee, but you get this blasted into your face. And then you got this guy right here, which is the triple barrel mortar cannon. So don't mess with this Voltron because he comes with a lot of armor and weaponry. You know, I always say, you know, you always hear, always hear knowing is half the battle. The other half is very powerful weapons. And then last but not least, what comes as accessories, um, this is a bit of the parts forming. You get the tails to the red and the green line. If that's the only thing I got a parts form a little bit on, then I am okay with that. So, uh, yes. So, and then of course you got your lions themselves. So let's get these guys in lion mode and we'll compare them to the other lions to see kind of which one in lion mode, I think reigns supreme. And we got them all in lion mode. Here they are. So pro tip, get you one of these. This is a black stick or a spudger or whatever you want to call it. But this will help you with some of those tighter joints so you don't break your fingernails or anything like that. You can pick these up on Amazon, like a whole bag of them or things like that. So this is something that is a lifesaver that... Uh, uh, especially on these guys, because they were kind of, there's a lot of like tight joints that you had to get out. Um, I mean, being a new toy, you would expect tight joints, but man, there were some tight ones on that. So let's take a look at them one by one. So let's take a look at the yellow lion first. And so there he is. Um, what I have already noticed the difference is, first of all, the materials it's made out of, these do have die cast, but not as much as the uh, Toonami version. But what it doesn't have, it makes up for in, I think, some finer details. Uh, so uh, let me get his mouth open. Rawr. There we are. Uh, so first of all, I mean, you got some really good leg articulation there. You can, you can spread that out really, really good. Uh, and it does go all the way around. Uh, these don't go all the way around, but you do have you do have the articulation here, and so you do have some feet articulation. Uh, you do have an ankle rock right back here, which is so cool uh, for this line. And same with the articulation here, but you don't have a 360 uh, on this. Now, one of the things you do have is the head does tilt up and down. 
Um, this part, because of the nature of it transforming into the foot, tilts up and down too. But the butt area has a bit of a tilt too as well. So that way you can kind of really get them in some cool little poses and things like that if you wanted to. Um, so let's take a look here with the other one. Now, you don't have, now one of the big things is you don't have the numbers. The The numbers are mainly there for the toys uh, that you don't really see them on the, um, on the cartoon, uh, but mainly there for the toys. But uh, but you can see the yellow lion for the Toonami one is a lot bigger. It does have more chrome parts, and it does it it is uh, made of more die cast than this one. But from a detail standpoint, I mean. I am digging this one right here. This one's really, really good. Uh, uh, so you can kind of see that there. Let's put them side by side here. You can kind of take a look. And let's turn them this way. So you can kind of see again from a size standpoint, this one is just a head taller on it. Um, and then, uh, but from an articulation standpoint, uh, this one has a bit more than this guy right here, uh, just because this doesn't have that butt crunch. Uh, but I think from the feet standpoint too, uh, this one has it going on uh, with that too as well. So the blue lion, same articulation as the red, uh, the yellow lion. Uh, oh, the other cool thing, the cannon moves. Where it doesn't move on the other one. The other one, it does not move. You get no movement out of that cannon. Uh, but I just love how you can kind of like just really get some cool poses out of them. Um, if I can get them sit. Yep. Yeah, I can get them sitting if I wanted to. Let's do that. Uh, let's kind of do like this. And yeah. There we go. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good doggy. Good lion. Um, oh, the cool. The tail also has some wiggle to it, too, as well. So go ahead and sit and be ready for the rest of the group. Oh, let me just show you his weapon. Sorry. Oh, I dropped something. Just a second. It's my spudger. Uh, the weapon does tab into the mouth. Uh, so let me get this mouth open. And so you can kind of see right in there, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little slot and then there is this slot right here and you just kind of pop it in there like so and you have him holding his lion weapon there. Very cool. And the blue one, just like I said, it's the same. Now the one thing that I like uh, now this has a little like, it looks like almost like a light, but it's not. Um, the one thing that I like about when you take a look at the two here is I like the detail on the head on this one, but I love the fact you got a weapon here too as well. So that's really, really cool. Uh, but I mean, a smaller kind of wimpier tail on this one here. Uh, this has that chrome, again, that die cast and that chrome shiny look, whereas this is that more plasticky look, uh, but it does have some metal in it. Uh, but, I mean, look, look at, especially from the face, this has got a shorter, stubbier face versus this one here. Uh, and then the eyes, I like the eyes on this guy. Again, I'm the three zero, you did a really good job here. I think uh, what's really awesome. Um, and then, of course, in the mouth, you can see kind of like a little weapon, some more detail, whereas this is just just the mouth on this one. So, um, but yeah, let's put them to the side so you can kind of see from a size again. This is going to be a bigger lion. This one's not. So we'll probably see that in the size of the Voltrons, too, as well. Just a difference in scale. And again, no, no number here where there's a number on here uh, if you want to use it. So let's move you back let's get blue lion's weapon here and again there it is and it just tabs in to that area too as well and so you want to sit down too you want to sit down boy i sit down sit Good dog or good lion. And you do have uh, one thing I forgot to show you. The head does swivel 
it is kind of on a ball so you do have some some work in there too as well uh, with that lion so we'll move you over there and let's go with the green lion da, 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 da. Now, here's what's interesting, is this green line, because of its tail, is a little bit bigger than this guy right here. Uh, so if you hold them kind of side by side, you can kind of, let me see if I can get my hand out of the way. I'll hold them this way. But about the same size, but the tail right here makes him a little bigger. But detail-wise, this is mostly plastic. This, lots of metal. So I think where the advantage of the plastic comes on this is probably it can hold poses better. This just feels more sturdier in the hand. I do, again, the chrome paint, shop, paint job I like, but uh, you get a weapon right here in his mouth where you don't get that on this one. Articulation wise, same as all the other lions. Uh, and you do have that foot uh, pivot right there. So, which is really, really cool. Now you don't have much in the head uh, from an articulation standpoint, because this is, of course, one of the arms. And let's get his weapon in there. So I just mainly showed you the articulation of the yellow line, because most of these are similar. There's just a few slight differences, but let's get your weapon in there. And so we got his weapon. Uh, you do, on the arms though, you do have this twist right here. You do have that right there. And you do have this twist right here. Uh, so you do have some more twisty twisty uh, than you do with the yellow or the blue lion. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's have you sit too. Sit. There we go. Good girl. And again, you got that weapon there where you don't have it on this one here. Uh, but again, the face, I, I am digging the faces on these guys better than these guys right here. I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. The paint looks more, much better. This paint does have a little bit of an overspray to it. Uh, but yeah, that's what I am digging. So let's move you back. Let's move you back. I know this is gonna be a long review folks because we got lions and then Voltron to get through. Boom. And boom. Again, about the same size, except he's a tail longer. Uh, articulation aspect, same uh, on the green as it is with the red. Just that blockier feel. Again, this is more plastic. There's not, I don't think there's any metal in this. There's not much though. Um, but this is has more the, the die cast feel to it. But uh, I am digging. 3-0, you might be my one that stays in my collection because uh, I can't have multiple Voltrons. I can only have one. Uh, so this, this so far, I am enjoying you, 3-0. Now, I know Bandai has a version out, and I, I had to choose between Bandai and 3-0, and I decided to go 3-0 because it was a bit cheaper. Um, but uh, I know Bandai has their version out, which is supposed to be really, really phenomenal too as well. Um, but... There we go, got your weapon in, boom. Let's have you sit down too. They're all sitting, getting ready for the day. Good girl, good girl. There you go, there you go. And then the piece de resistance, the main event we gotta look at is the Black Lions. The body of Voltron. And so both have metal in it, but this has more. This, like if I hold them, I'm holding them, this is heavier than this one. The face is more elongated uh, than this one. This is like, a, I got a stubbier face, but this is more of an elongated face. And the neck has more articulation on this one than it does here. Uh, and the heads do, does not rotate or anything like, or this one does, this one does not. Um, so that's where some big differences are there. And then uh, feet wise, you do have the rotating ankle here where you don't have it on the other one. Uh, you do have the wings here. I like how these wings fold up here versus these wings. Um, and then the tail, it's just, just a shorter, stubbier tail, um, but you don't have all the chrome, but take a look at the face. You can kind of see the faces there. And then we'll just kind of hold them up. 
So you can kind of see just from a size standpoint, uh, almost similar in size. This one I would say is just a little bit bigger, uh, but yeah, that's the Black Lion, a little bit in a nutshell. There they are. Uh, not as, doesn't have as much articulation as let's say the other lions because it's the body. It has to kind of be more stable, but you do have this ab crunch here and you do have just a hair of a twist. His tail pops off here. That seems like it's something that's a defect, but I can glue that back on. Um, but yeah, let's move you out of the way. So after you see them all, which one do you prefer? Do you prefer Black Lion? Oh, get out of the way. Or do you prefer, do you prefer the Toonami or do you prefer the uh, three zero? Let's get his weapon in. There you go. His weapon doesn't have like a, where it kind of just tabs in. It just kind of gets held just cause the face of Voltron is in there so he just kind of holds it let's have you sit down too i don't know if i can get him sitting anyway no worries and then the tail keeps popping off some super glue will fix you tail there we go but there they are uh now the other cool thing that these have this does not again are these so let me weapon them up and I'll be right back. And they are weaponed up and ready to go. That's the other cool thing about these guys. They got extra weapons. So like with the yellow lion, you can see they, what's cool is you, you they tab in where they're supposed to tab in. Okay. Uh, like this one right here. Let me kind of see if I can pull that off. It's got the square tab, square tab right there. You can get that in. So they're square and then they're circle tabs. So you got those weapons on him, which is awesome. And then blue, you get these guys right here. Very, very cool. Green, you get these guys right here. Awesome. And then red, boom, more weapons. So you got all sorts of, these things are loaded for bear. Like you're not gonna, you're not gonna mess with these guys. These guys, the other ones, they just got blades. This has blades and guns, so watch out. These are America Lions here. They got all sorts of weapons, uh, so they're ready to go uh, So and make it happen. But that is they, so let's get them confer con converted, converted into Voltron. So let's form Voltron. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. I'll be right back. All right, got the lions ready to form Voltron. Pretty straightforward, if you ask me. You got it. these right here is where the, you can kind of see, I don't know if you can, there. That leg goes right in there. Should snap into place, hopefully. Come on, where are you? Snap it, snappy, snappy. Ah. So there's, there's these little things right back there. Ah, come on. I said pretty straightforward, right? Uh, I was lying. Let's try the yellow line first. Maybe I didn't get something right. That one just about went, oh, there we go. It kind of just, you can kind of see it slides, that part slides up and then over. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. So you gotta get this part out right here and then it kind of pops up. And there we go. Now, the interesting thing on these guys, you can kind of see these panels right here. There's a little tab right there. You want to make sure everything tabs right in way the way it should. Okay, just line it up. There we go. So first part is done. 
Let's go with the arms. The arms are just kind of forced in until you feel a click. There you go. Force in until you feel a click. There we go. And then let's move up because the great reveal that we always like to do. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 one ear fell off. The reveal is gone. The reveal is done. Oh my gosh. Okay, ears back on. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. And there is the mighty Voltron. Defender of the universe. Voltron the Magnificent. Let me lift my camera a bit so we can kind of get him into frame a little bit better. But there he is, all purdied up, ready to go. He is solid, like unlike the other one. Oh my gosh, he is tight and solid and nice and feels beautiful. So let me bring in uh, the three, the the um, tsunami one, the 30th anniversary one. So you can kind of see them side by side. Uh, so not much difference in size, you know. Uh, let's see if I can get them focused. Focus in. Focus in on these guys. There we go. Not much difference in size between the two. This one is a hair taller. Let me get his wings up. That's one thing I forgot on this one. Beep, 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 beep. Now, the wings may make this one a bit taller. Yeah, so you can kind of see just a hair taller on this guy than he is on this one. But uh, this one feels extremely solid. Uh, instead of the yellow, you got the gold. Uh, the logo looks amazing, I think. Um, I, what do you all think? I mean... Which one do you like better? Uh, let me pull the swords and stuff out of his hand so you can see uh, a little bit better. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Just from a... I mean... Like this one I have to kind of pose, but it's, it's, it's loose, it's flimsy, it's floppy. This one is all together and tight. Like I said, I would definitely prefer one over the other. Um, and then we have, of course, Car Voltron coming in right there. And there is all three Voltrons. So what do you think? This one's a floppy mess. This one's a bit of a floppy mess. This one's toy as a toidle on that. So, um... Honest, first, second, third, this would be my first, second, definitely third on this one right here. Hey, your, your flies open. There we go. Flies open. Uh, so, um, but overall impressions, I am really digging this Voltron right here. So let's move you aside, vehicle Voltron. Let's move you aside, Toonami Voltron. And let's bring this back stay back front and center and maybe let's compare them to some other things that we may have and so first of all let's do a core class star screen so you can kind of see that <laughs> very small star screen and then a legend size optimus prime rottler then we got voyager class star screen right here we got a uh, leader class grimlock so you can see voltron still towers above them we got a legend scale omega supreme let's get that back there if we can 
Omega Supreme almost makes it to his height, just about. Not much to him there. Let's move him. Let's kind of bring Omega Supreme a bit closer in so you can kind of see. And then we have the masterpiece Optimus Prime right there, covering up Grimlock. Grimlock is in the background now. Uh, but there he is, how he scales to my other Transformers and things like that. So again, I think I'm really digging good old Voltron here, man. Voltron was one of my favorites. Like I said, if, I love Transformers. And then I got the, um, the, the Matchbox, you know, stainless steel Voltron, the stainless steel Matchbox, uh, metal diecast metal Voltron. And I played with that till it was like loosey goosey, floppy, agape, sloppy mess, uh, on this. Now a few things on the details on this one. So let me pull this camera up a little bit here. Uh, some things that I really like the arm covers right here. So if you notice on the other one, the legs are exposed, whereas here covered up. So if you watch the cartoon, the legs are pretty covered up, uh, on this here. So that way it kind of has a more uh, consistency, uh, there. And you also have the leg covers down here too, as well, that cover up the legs, which is really really cool on that so um but this guy does not have them i know he's kind of sad he goes one thing i got going for me is my face lights up my face lights up no it doesn't because your batteries are dead his face doesn't light up but i don't care that's a gimmick uh as long as it poses well and is all sorts of good that i am good in the hood so let's do some posing and articulation so look at that the other one, the arm would have already fell. And that's the difference between this being all plastic and the other one being die cast. That die cast just doesn't hold well under the joint there. Uh, and then you got more than a 90 degree. You got this that twists all the way around if you want to. Um, you have the body, this twists, and then this twists as well. So you can do some really cool uh poses with this voltron uh that i am excited about let's get you back on and then of course we do have the rotation that you can do 360 all the way around which is awesome very cool very very cool uh waste not much turning there but you do have just you do have an ab crunch which is awesome very good but you don't have any twisty twisty with the waist unfortunately you have very slight twisty twisty the head no twisty twisty but you do have up you do have down and it does kind of rock a little bit but no wait 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 oh it was so tight yes you can twist that head that's awesome it was just like really, 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 really tight. Uh, and what's so cool is just the, how that clicks in. That's cool. I wonder if it pops right in there. Yeah. There we go. So we can see Voltron's face a little bit better, but same with this arm, same kind of articulation that you have. Let's take a look at the legs. You don't have outward you do have a 90 degree right there uh and then you do have that look at that it'll hold that all day long that is awesome and then you have the foot twist here the tilt on this and the other thing i like that gives it stability is this right here uh which will give stability to that voltron uh but you don't have or do you no i'm just afraid to break it you don't really have any, like, where I can just crush crush it with that leg there. But can I get him to stand just on one leg? No. I uh, can't do no Karate Kid, sweep the leg with it. But very nice. Very nice. So um, let's get his weapons in his hands. That would be most capacious i don't know what that means but yeah anyway i'll put the sword in the this hand again it tabs right into the mouth 
so you don't have to really do much except just get it in there and then there we go got the sword and the shield the shield of wisdom the shield of Solomon the laser shield or whatever it is uh, I'll get that tabbed in right so get in there hard part is getting them in there when they're in their form get in there we go <laughs> and it fell out of the mouth uh, give me a second I'll be right back all right, I'm back. I got the shield in. It took a little little working, but was able to get that in there. Looks phenomenal. I mean, just just a freaking phenomenal looking bot. So let's give you just a kind of a front view there. That face, the side, the back. No kibbles and bits. Pulled that part of the tail off right there. Uh, this side this side right here would kind of rotisserie it in there a little bit there just overall solid like i could pose this get them in different poses and things like that and it would rock out now there is one more weapon that you do have that if you watch the cartoons let me see where is it at it's over here in all the weapons is the saw right there so uh, you have that that you can put on the leg. Uh, so let me see how that goes on. And we'll get that on there. Ah, yeah, very easy. Very easy. So uh, when you pull this up on the bottom, right here is where it will kind of tab in. I say that's where it'll tab in. Come on. Uh, let me see. Just a second. I thought that's where it went. Uh, I could be mistaken. Um, yeah, so underneath, pull that thing down, pull that up, and you should have a place for the leg saw, which is right there well the problem is the problem that we run into now what we have here is this is too big for that how am i supposed to solve things in half in my hank hill voice if i can't get that in yeah that's too big so that's useless uh I can't get it in there. Maybe I'll try it a little bit later, but it's supposed to go right where I'm putting it. So you can see right here in the instructions, it's supposed to go right there, but just is too big. Uh, but you know what? Let's get back together. Let's talk through some of my final thoughts on this Voltron. Welcome back. So my final thoughts on three zeros Voltron. Let's bring him in. First of all, correction, he does have a bit of articulation. He can't do the full Jean-Claude Van Damme, but it can go out a little bit. So you can get him in some cool dynamic poses if you want to. But look at that. That is awesome. I thought the, the other one was awesome. This one is awesomer. This one just takes the cake. Um, feels great. It's nice and hefty. It's, it's a really good size. Uh, you can see all the, from the comparisons and things like that. Um, uh, it's got the right amount of detail, tons of weapons, tons of playability. <coughs> I love it. I think it's great. I mean, What's great is like these arms, the arm covers kind of hide the lion's legs. That's really cool. And then because these are not die cast, which you're like, oh man, these aren't die cast. You're able to pose and it's not going to drop that pose. And the legs will stay where they need to too. Now over time, will they, will they wear? Maybe. 
Um, that may be the problem with the one that I have is that over the time, it just kind of wore out and got loose. But this is the Voltron to have. I don't have the Bandai one. I don't, uh, and I don't have the uh, the other one, the Blitz Blitzway or Blitzwing uh, Voltron, which that one's way expensive. I ain't gonna be able to get that one. But this one right here, if you want to add one to your collection, if you want to add a complete, an awesome, an amazing, a stupendous, add two of these so that way you can have them in Lion form and in Voltron form. Uh, I can only afford one, so he will stay in Voltron form, but I would add a couple of these guys on here. Just an amazing overall robot. Like I said before, uh, inspired Power Rangers. Of course, this was inspired by other Japanese robot cartoons and things like that too as well. But, but when you look at your Megazords, think of Voltron uh, and that, but um, yeah, the ab crunch, the all, I just got nothing but good things to say about Voltron. Now, it would be cool to have some of the monsters and maybe Emperor Zarkon or any of those guys, but I'll stay with Voltron. He's great. He's awesome. He's got the colors look great. Everything looks great. Um, it doesn't have the chrome, but I, I don't care. I think this is the Voltron to get. So on a scale of good, bad, awesome, this one's freaking awesome. This is my first choice in a Voltron. If you were to get one, I think you'd be lucky to get one too. Now I do have one more Voltron, but it's not in any of these classes. It's the Lucky Cat uh, Micro Elvis one, which I can't wait to kind of open up and take a look at that. But we'll look at that some other day. But we'll let this one have his day in the sun. So y'all just remember, tune in next time when we review something else, either good, something maybe bad, or something extremely awesome. So y'all remember to stay young, have fun, and be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.